Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Looks like a giant sphincter. I'm attacking the butthole of the world. Oh my god, what is that? Is that me? Jay Fry, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction, but I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Gygus will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigas, no, Gigas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. God. Okay, so you said use the shield first. Oh, I guess. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Heavily armed pokey, okay. It's a <laughs> talk. Shit, I don't have enough. Okay. not work on Gigas. Okay. Merry Christmas, Salty! <laughs> okay. Well, what if I did it? I did that. He's got some sort of shield. Hmm. 
I did, but it had no effect. He's here. Uh, actually, no, he left for a little bit. Uh, we can do it later. He's not, he left for a while. I see. So I have to defeat, I have to defeat, uh, Pokey first. Go faster. Uh, no! I healed him. Whoops, shit. I, I screwed that up. you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gigas. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gigas looks like. If I were you, if if you were to ever see Gigas, you'd be so petrified with fear. You'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed. So isn't this terrifying? <laughs> I'm terrified too. Gigas cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by the, his, his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Jay Fry, you cannot grasp the true form. <laughs> oh, it did not work.
<laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you must really be at the end of your rope in this bizarre dimension. You four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of this universe. <laughs> it's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy, J Fry? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will soon be over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so... Should I try... Should I try Psy Games again, or is that just not going to work? And I should just keep beating him with my bat. And I'm okay with <laughs> the suggestion. <clears throat> well, I don't really have anything. Well, she did say, he, he did say, reach out with your mind. Um, I don't know if I can really do that and still survive. I guess I could have done that during the last attack, but, uh, okay. Horn of life? I did have a horn of life. Who should I horn of life? Who? Oki gave me a clue, huh? Okay. 
What if she prayed? I have no I don't have that Of the Mr. Saturns felt a new startling feeling they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of J. Fry and his party. I was surprised. Okay. Well, he only has 51. If you want something bad enough, do you stop praying? Oh, you're su suggesting I should keep praying? the true form. <laughs> the runaway five are going to help us. The runaway five felt something stop him, and he prayed fervently for the safety of Jay Fry and his party. <laughs> That's funny. I 
feel good. Hey, Fry. Oh, he does not have any PP. I didn't see that from the past. I'll recover Neil here in a second. <laughs> oh, it's all the kids from Paula's daycare. <laughs> Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. <laughs> oh, it's it's everyone back at the at the boarding school. Was it Tony? Yeah, Tony felt anxious about Neil, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Neil and his friends. <laughs> Ah, girl. Oh, girl. Ah. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it is weird, Lemon Square. And not right. Not right. Not right. Of course, it's Pooh's world. Were these all the girls who were fighting over Pooh? Came over you? <laughs> this is like a big final confrontation. Oh. A young woman in Dalam woke from a dream in which Prince Pooh died. She began to pray for the well being of Pooh and his friends. It hurts, it hurts. I'm so sad, Jay Fry. Go back, you cannot grasp the two form. <laughs> Everyone at the hamburger joint is praying for us. Frank recalled Jay Fry shining his own face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Jay Fry and his friends. <laughs> Oh, those bottle rockets don't matter. This is 
Neil's, uh, not Neil's, J Fry's mom. Oh, we, I thought we were going to actually see his dad. Suddenly, J. Fry's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. <laughs> no, it did not. Oh, they were for Pokey. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. This is scary. It hurts, it hurts. think of anyone else someone anyone please come help us Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness ah I'm happy Should I just keep, should I keep praying? <laughs> I feel good. I'm happy. Friends calls touch the heart of E. Prayed for the kids having never met them. Hmm. Whoa! 3,500 damage to. Kept praying. Fry, now I well, it's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now, which one of you, which one of us, something, he's gone. <laughs> Yeah. This is weird. This is, this is weird. Kids must have thought that this game was freaking out. I see. The war against Gigas is over. But what about our 
our little bodies. Wait. Right. Is that our soul? This game has so much in it. I can't believe this was put on a little cartridge. I'm imagining them go not giving him a game that lasts for what seems like 40 streams. <laughs> this is only the 12th stream. Is it still crunchy? Ass? Am I crunchy? No. Usually the game messes up. I just needed it to stop. Hold on just a second. We'll, f we'll fix it. What is this? This is the switch, right? That's how much. Is, is it gone now? Okay. Our travels together end here. We must return to Dalam and use the experience for the good of my country. Jay Fry, Paula Neal, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. Excuse me, I realize the power as a child. Sigh farewell now. I'll see you again someday. <laughs> oh, he dropped presents. <laughs> Paula, J. Fry, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while to see if I can learn more from Dr. And, and Donuts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. And the weird Mr. Saturns. Jay Fry, will you escort me home? <laughs> no. Yes, I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Oh. <laughs> Letter from kids inside. Letter from mom inside. A letter from Tony. Oh, I want to read the letter from Tony. <laughs> or I should give it to... Dear Neil, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. 
<laughs> like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. Aw, Tony is so sweet. <laughs> Neil looks like he's going to say something. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> oh, wait, what did it say right there at the PS? <laughs> what did it say there? Oh, my goodness. Just don't share this letter to anyone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Dear Jay Fry, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Also, we don't seem to eat pizza as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Uh, Googie or something like that. Well, that sounds really, really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Sparky, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. <laughs> uh... All right, let's let's read the letter from the kids. Kids in this game? No, it's Paula's. He, she she runs a daycare with her, with her family. Oh, that sounds awful. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Pole Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Pole Star Preschool. She, she totally did seem really cheer. All right, so let's um, teleport. Where was she? She was at your, from Tucson, right? Your mom's at your mom's house. Well, no, I know where my mom is. I think she was in Tucson. Don? Yeah, Tucson. Yeah, they were all supposed to be kind of like... Uh, Kind of, they they were numbered one, two, three, four, right? But they they were supposed to sound like city names. Oh, so Tucson, T W O S O N. That's um. J Fry, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well. Guess this is it. Goodbye. Um, so long. See ya. Bye. Beer. All right. I guess we're going home. It's not as gloomy as the last time I was here. Are all the snakes gone? It'd be bad if there was one final battle. Take a snake. Hey. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all, your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. <laughs> I'd like to look at it with you. Did she give me the photo album? I don't I don't have any space. <laughs> Thanks. Did you do everything that you wanted to? Oh, you can't stop. All right, well let's do that. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. All right, is it going to show me everything? Oh, too late. You're too late. Nah. All 
are they vibrating? They were dancing, Neil. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> I believe it is. Buzz, buzz. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, thanks, Dark Passenger. Yeah, it was a fun, it was a very, very unique game, and I am very impressed that this game was made so long ago. Uh, over... 25 years ago and uh and so and just i just it's it's amazing how good this is for for a snes game it's the runaway five it's the happy happiest and car painter yeah it's it's a really good game bubble monkey Oh yeah, Brick Road. <laughs> Neil! <laughs> Mr. Saturn! Next year marks 30. Mr. Bell, Master Belch. Tala Rama <laughs> and his monkeys. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Who's Master? Star Master. Oh, that's who that guy was. Yeah, there's Dungeon Man. The tribesmen. Flying men. Are these all the extras? <laughs> Dad is a phone. <laughs> the perfect deadbeat dad. Oh, here's the photograph man. Oh look, this is the camera he was using, Neil. Yeah. One, oh, an old one more skin. fuzzy pickle. <laughs> <laughs> so here's all the pictures he took during the fuzzy pickles. It's pretty smart. It's pretty cool. They did a really good job. The music was great. The uh, just all the characters were so good. Yeah, it was it was really well done. Like I said, and I, and they packed so much onto that SNES cartridge. That's it's it's, a, it's a, an amazing game. Yeah, totally. Well, it's the same music, but it's slowed down.
Yeah, I figured it out. Yeah. Games I don't like are the... Oh, that I read? You don't like my reading. Oh, well, it's not your reading. Hey, it's just like an... Ex you need hey. to... You, we can't hear you. It's just an extension of the workday to me. It's just you talking into the microphone. Ah, okay. The plot elements don't work for an adult crowd. Yeah. It's it's very much... Uh, I thought it was pretty funny. and and pretty. I just can't believe it's a kid's game. There's some pretty existential things in this game. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the 12th stream, so I've only been playing it for just over two weeks. I think I read that. You must like have turned one... down your mic or something. No, I'm farther away. Um, I think I read that this was localized by one dude. Oh, yeah. Well, here it is. Two people. <laughs> English text writers. Yeah, how did they come up with some of the enemies? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I just assume kind of triple Japanese. Japanese culture, is that what you said? Impenetrable Japanese culture. Yeah. Kind of like things can be impenetrably French. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very much uh, Western style, though, so... The drink was an adult beverage in Japan. Yeah. more to talk about on this game. It was just so really good. Actually, I thought I, I liked how um, except for right near the end where I w was like, didn't know what to do to just walk into the machine. Um, I pretty much knew where to go each time and they did a good job of kind of funneling you without making it feel like you were had to go do that thing, which I liked. Le favorite parts and least favorite parts I mean my favorite parts my favorite thing in general was just that like you thought you knew where it was going and it would just completely go in a different direction it's like and you know you would think you were like alright we get all these sounds we got the soundstone and then we're gonna challenge Gigas and we're going to like attack him no actually we're gonna go look at your you as a baby and then go deep into your mind you know it's like like what what are we doing so i thought that was that was my favorite part was that part where like all of a sudden we're in a land of vegetables and we're inside my mind it's like oh look it thanked me <laughs> player j fries <laughs> You know there's nobody in there, right? Aw, oh, the, the, the original programmers. Actually, probably new programmers. They must have gotten that from from the Switch. Was it a more enjoyable RPG than the Xenoblade? Yeah. Um, hmm. I liked Xenoblade Story 2. Um, was it less like it was, I liked it because it was, it was less streams <laughs> than Xenoblade Chronicles. So it was tighter. It was a tighter story. <laughs> was it was it less like filling out an insurance application? Yeah, yeah. It it, it had uh it had less to it. Oh. Oh, is dad calling? Hello, it's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> You've been 
out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click beep. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I, I do that every time. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It is addressed to J Fry. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says... Come and get me, loser. Spank <laughs> spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. <laughs> the end question mark. That's how I would end all of my games. The end question mark, by the way. That's such a, a Flash Gordon thing to do. You don't have to have Ming laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. I thought, I thought, I thought dad was going to show up or something, but no, that does seem to be the end. Why would dad show up? I don't know. I mean, obviously in the credits, he was just a phone, so he's not going to show up. Well, do y'all want to, I mean, it's, it's, um, we could still go a little bit longer. Do you want to play some Super Mario Brothers too? Loophole for the third game to happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs>